Hello everybody and welcome to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and this one we're going to discuss and create uh, the cloth physics to, for use in your games or personal projects. Um, so the first we're going to do is download Blender and once you've downloaded that, which is a free to use um, software for your computer, so when you've downloaded Blender you're going to open that up and you'll see a screen similar to this when you start off. So you're going to go to File, New, and then General, and then you should have a screen similar to this. We're going to get rid of this cube. We don't need the start cube. So the first thing we're going to do is delete the cube, hold Shift, and then press A, and then we're going to add a plane. <coughs> we're going to go into edit mode. So there's two ways you can do that. You can click on this drop down box and then go to edit mode, or you can press the tab key. And then we're going to add some loop cups. So we add a loop cup, we hold control and press R. And then we'll see this little yellow line pop where we move it to different axis point. We're going to left click, right click, and then go down here to the bottom left. And then add 60 cuts by pressing 6, 0, and then enter. And we're going to do the same this way. So control R, and then make sure you get the yellow line across the center. <coughs> and then left click, right click, and then 6, 0 press enter and that's everything you need to do in Blender. That's it. So now what we're going to do is go to file, save. I'm going to name mine tutorial cloth. You can name yours whatever you like. One. Uh, actually name it two just in case I've got another one. So we're going to click save and then we're going to go to File, Export, FBX, Highlight Mesh, Auto to Copy, Geometry to Face, and then Export. Next step, we're going to go into Unreal. So open up your Unreal project or test level. And then we're going to go to a place where you want to store that. So Control and Spacebar to open a content browser. And then you're going to add it into a folder. So you can go to new folder. And then once you've got a place where you want to store it, you can go to import. And then I'm going to get the one that I created, which is this one. And then we're going to click open. And then we're going to click on skeletal mesh just here. Click reset to default and then click import. Once you've done that, if you go back into your browser, you'll see three objects that have been created. So the first one we're going to do <coughs> is going to double click on this one. So you don't want to click on the one that says physics and you don't want to click on the one that says skeleton. So you want to click on this one, the skeletal mesh, double click it, open that up. And then there's a few steps in here that we have to do to get it to work. So we're going to left click on the mesh. Make sure you got this orangey yellow highlight glow around the edges. Right click, create clothing data from section, and then click create. And then you're going to go to activate cloth paint. And then you're going to click here, where you've got the name of the mesh that you created. And then down, if you scroll down to brush settings, you're going to set the radius to five zero and then highlight or drag your mouse over the um, pink area on the mesh and then left click and it should change to a white color <coughs> and then once you've done that you're going to get the paint value and set that to zero. Set the strength to one. Set the radius to five. And then we can move into the corners just like this. 
and I'm going to left click in a few little spots and these are going to be your anchor points to create your curtain effect so when you've done that I'm going to deactivate cloth paint left click on the mesh right click apply clothing data it should save and then you should see animate and then we're going to click the save button we're going to go down to cloth's configurations click on the second expand menu click on simulation set this value to 2 this value to 3 uh, two sorry leave that checked otherwise if you uncheck it this cloth will just fall forever and it can cause the engine to crash once you drag it into your scene so click leave that checked and then click save minimize and then drag and drop the skeletal mesh into your level and we'll rotate it because I can't remember which edge I painted. I think it was this one. We click play. And there we have our mesh. Now if it's invisible on one side, all you have to do is just add a two-sided material and that'll fix the problem for you. Um, I'll show you that. So I have the two-sided material here. And there you can see that it basically generates the texture on both sides and if we go around you can see it on both sides and then you can manipulate this cloth move it around and have a play with that set up your curtains you know you could probably animate it to have them close and open as well you could do that using the uh, level sequencer and this would be a transform so yeah just let me know how you get on with this um, and if you want to see more to do with cloth physics let me know so if you want this to collide with the environment and um, the last step so you make sure this is highlighted and then you go down into your clothing settings for your skeletal mesh and you want collide with environment and force collision updates and click save oops um actually no you don't need to click save what you do if you're going to save it into your level and then if we go into the game and my character walks into the cloth it will move around there you go so there we have a simple dynamic cloth simulation for your uh, for your games. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments. And thanks very much for watching. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye for now.